Everyone, Dwayne here with Bronco Wild Outdoors. I hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, today's short video is going to be to kind of wrap up, maybe not all of the pictures from Supercell East just a couple months ago, but I'm going to uh, go through some of these so you can see some different configurations in the trim of the 2021 Ford Bronco. Uh, and also color. So we have you know, a couple different things going. And in some of the pictures, you'll see some early Broncos, late model Broncos, all different years from 66 all the way up until probably 94. I think there was one there. Um, and who knows, you know, look in the background, pick up something that I didn't. So let's go through these right here. So here you see a two door wild track velocity blue hard top. And, uh, of course, the bar, the original uh, bar that's been redesigned. Uh, you know, one unique thing about the Wild Track, uh, the graphics on the body, pretty cool. On the raised portion of the hood, there's the black um, logo there as well on the side. So you'll see it right here on the side of the door, kind of runs up to the back fender well. And the badging obviously is. Definitely cool. One thing too, the grill and the mirrors are gloss black. So it gets rid of the carbonized gray, sort of the flat color or the flat texture. Uh, it adds the really dark gloss black. It's pretty cool. Next picture here. Uh, now this was um, one of the Broncos. I think both of these, well, no, I know this Bronco for sure. Maybe the other wild track was used in the off-road uh, ride along. So uh, this was Shelby, uh, the one that Shelby Hall drove uh, before it got dirty. <laughs> um, or maybe they washed it, who knows. But either way, this is the one that she, uh, she drove. I believe uh, this is a Badland Sasquatch 2.3. Um, that was interesting, soft top. And it performed very well. There's a few videos online that people uh, that rode with her that did the video, and they, they liked it. So it was very impressive. And there's Gavin doing his doing his thing next to the wild track that we just showed you and there's a couple goofy pictures in here of me so let's ignore those this two-door uh area 51 the area 51 is the most unique color to me because you know here it, it has a little bit of gray in it and it and not it's not flat but it doesn't jump out at you but because of the uh overcast uh you can see the clouds in the mountains we were pretty high elevation towns in tennessee so we actually have these clouds running through here the the dark sky and, and all of that just added for the color not to pop but when you see this color clean in the sunshine it really 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 pops so definitely a cool color two-door cactus gray soft top sasquatch this thing's pretty cool um I actually did a little video where we went over this vehicle. If you look here on my channel, you'll see one that we just did. It was a, it's a short, it's a YouTube short video. Uh, so for like 55 seconds of it. Um, they had the top down, you get a gist of it inside. But uh, the two doors are sharp. I really like the two doors. Functionality, I need a four door because my wife and kids, you know, so there's five of us. So we need the we need the four door also a little bit more room for carrying stuff. So the two doors though, I do think are very sharp. When we get our second Bronco actually on order, we may switch over to a two door on this one. We haven't decided. Um, hopefully that ordering opportunity doesn't have to take place until we take delivery of our four door Badlands. And that'll really help us decide. Another picture there. This is the base uh, Bronco. 2.7 Sasquatch that we actually did our ride along. If you look on my videos, there's a, it's titled Base uh, Bronco Ride Along or Trail Ride. Um, this thing here is really, really cool. The trail turn assist on this, uh, I like it. It's very cool. So you can see we don't have the rock rails on this particular one. Uh, at least I don't think so. You can't tell from here, but this one was muddy. This one had gotten used quite a bit. So the base Bronco, I think personally, is going to be one of the more popular ones for people that want to design and sort of build their own unique Bronco. Uh, because it's a really good uh, platform, and especially if you start with Sasquatch, I think it adds on a base about $7,000, $7,500, somewhere in there. Don't quote me on that, but somewhere in that range. Now, as your trim levels go up, from so when you go to the base, Big Ben, uh, Black Diamond, 
um, in Outer Banks, Badlands, Wild Track, you'll notice now the Wild Track is going to come with Sasquatch, but on everything below that, you're going to see that the Sasquatch package becomes less and less uh, costly, so it's more, more affordable uh, as a line item. However, it is in the base price, uh, meaning that if you're getting a, um, you know, a, a Sasquatch uh, package, well, you know, it's it's going to cost you less on a Badlands than it will say on a base. So a base is like seventy five hundred. I want to say it's about twenty five hundred on a Badlands. So when you're looking at the build and price on Ford's website, just try play around with the the model. So go with the trim level and then add Sasquatch. And then as you go up the trim levels, you'll see that's pretty cool. The chassis was very unique. Uh, to see this out, it's just clean. Uh, take away all the hoses and wires and goodies and you get to just really see what you're sitting on. Uh, this was a good um, learning learning tool for a lot of people there so they can get a gist of the box frame, independent front suspension, the bash plates. I like to call them skid plates, Ford cars on bash plates. Uh, the toe points, um, hey, just really get to see what this thing's about. It's really, I think it's going to be a good deal. Area 51, two door, uh, obviously from the, the side here. And you can go through, here's a set, um, uh, cactus gray. This is when they were leaving. This is where you would, the tent here is where you would get in and then you would leave this path here and, and go down. And, and there's a video on this one, but the video for some reason with Zoom doesn't like to play. It's more like a fast slideshow. And then here's the side with the early Broncos uh, vendors uh, where you could buy anywhere from a complete chassis to a frame. Uh, to engines, to the smallest parts and pieces you can imagine for your Bronco. So it was a, the swap meet was a very interesting, interesting place to go. Uh, as you can see, we had some weather in there. It was really, uh, it was cool. I wouldn't say cold. It was really cool, but it felt cold because of the, uh, you know, the dampness and everything. Uh, we had, a, I think we had a really one sunny day. Everything else was just kind of blah. There's a picture of me. You don't see, there's little man Gavin. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, a couple of different pictures I've been posting on Instagram. This is one of them. It's a really cool view. Shows the black gloss grill on the wild track. Uh, this does have the um, steel bumper on the front, the old bull bar. A little bit different view here. Also, keep in mind the trail sites also work as tie downs and they have 150 pound capacity on each one. These are the black gloss steel wheels. Uh, this does not have, this is odd, doesn't look like it has uh, the rails on it as well. But, and, and these early Broncos here, this one right here, I think I have a picture coming up in this. Maybe it's going to be in another video. It is very clean. I mean, just like museum stuff. But you can get a gist of the different colors and the different trim levels. Uh, there's that logo on the hood. This shark makes it stand out. And there we go with the with the black bucking horse on this one. This, of course, the MIC top. I've heard stories that when people saw the first MIC tops, they thought it was a lot lighter, uh, lighter color. Uh, this one here was dark enough to, I mean, I'm happy with it. You know, I didn't want anything too light. So cactus gray Sasquatch here. Wild track logos. I, mean, I like the Badlands logo the best, but that's just that's just me. Wild track with Sasquatch. Pretty cool. So I just wanted to show you some of the last. I think we have one more video coming up, which will be uh, with a lot of sports in it. Um, so if you like sports, uh, stay tuned in about a week. I'm going to put that video up. I'm excited. I'm going to Carlisle, Pennsylvania this week. So if you're watching this video, video, you know, in two or three weeks, well, you'll know it came and gone, but we're actually headed there June 4th or June 5th now. Uh, June 4th is going to rain. So we're going to back it up. We're going to go on the 5th and um, hopefully see some really cool pictures of Broncos, get some more video. And then we have a real cool experience, uh, the Bronco off rodeo. I'll be there on day one. Uh, June 28th and so plenty of videos coming up of that so on the 28th the videos are going to start 28 29 pretty heavily and then we're going to save a a few for 
some production and go into weeks weeks after that. You know, the slope top, I think some people call them the fastback, uh, the best top. Um, you know, on a two door, on a two door, I like it. I don't know if it's even available on a four door or not yet. Uh, but the two door, it's it's sharp looking. Uh, it does decrease some of the carrying space in the back. So if you're looking for as much room as possible to carry this, it is going to cut down on that a little bit. But I mean, it's ever so slight. If you were stuffing this thing so the seams were about to bust, it would affect you. Um, but man, that's just a sharp view, isn't it? But that Area 51 is a very cool color. I, you know, I've said this in other videos, I actually struggle with it. So if you're struggling with the color, the Area 51, when you see it clean in the sunshine in person, it's a beautiful, I mean, just awesome color. Um, there again, great view here. Get a gist of um, the style on this Bronco. I, I love how they brought in a lot of the uh, the features from the early Bronco and, you know, it just, it looks like a Bronco, right? You know, it, it like Chevy has their blazer, that blazer doesn't look anything like a, or, you know, original or early blazer. This Bronco is everything Bronco, right? It's what you would expect a new Bronco to be. So I like the clouds in the background. It's pretty sharp, isn't it? There's a Bronco nation tent over here to the side. The uh, Sasquatch package, you know, you have the beadlock capable wheels. Uh, they really look good. And of course, they're functional. So you'll be able to um, modify those for off road use only. Perfect picture right there. If no people were in there, it would be perfect. Actually, we started with this to build or, or to create, not build, create our logo. And we switched it around a little bit and just did an animation of it because we didn't want to, you know, have the actual Bronco in there. But um, this is kind of the, the feeling behind our, if you see our logo, Bronco Wild Outdoors, this is sort of the, the idea. But we designed our own little SUV to put in there. And I have no idea what I was doing there. I was trying to take a really cool picture, but it just turns out to be water on glass with a slight reflection. I do have my Bronco Nation hat on there, very cool to have that and there's the bronco nation trailer and uh the tent set up where you could get the merch there again a lot of the early broncos you know we didn't go over to that side um we do have some video i think we're going to put a video out later on of that but there was a lot of really awesome early broncos there uh the 2.7 v6 you so you can see the where one of the the is twin turbo so you have one of the turbos here uh, the dipstick is obviously uh, noticeable, right? You can find it. Uh, but, you know, obviously this engine's traveling, traveling around just like this for you to, just to see the breakdown on it. And just like the chassis, it's a very, uh, it's a very awesome look. Uh, Sasquatch, um, there again, suspension, stabilizer disconnect, upper lower control arms, body mount over here. You can see how the body's mounted on there. It's a pretty big grommet, by the way. Um, yeah, I, like I said, it's it's not the biggest vehicle on the planet, so um, there's not a whole lot of hold down on that. I like the bash plate uh, under the gas tank. That's very designed very well. And then we have another view here of the chassis, and, and then we have this. Um, what do we have here? I don't know what trim level that was. Somebody correct me on that. I know it's the uh, Cyber Orange Sasquatch. Forget what trim level that was. There's one of the sports back here. This is where the sports lined up where you would get in and, and go. There again, awesome view. I love that color. By the way, when you see the cyber orange on, on the picture, you see it on here on YouTube and other places, it does look like a solid color. But when you see it there again, clean, washed up in the sun, sunlight, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of um, fleck and metal flake, fleck, flake. Uh, it's a lot of metallic. That's me in a sport. Now that we were getting into sports to drive, and this is where the sport video will take off here a little bit later. So we are going to stop the screen share. Uh, hello, everyone again. So I uh, just wanted you to see a few of those pictures. We're going to be wrapping all that content up as we move into um, uh, Carlisle, Pennsylvania, and also the Bronco Off Rodeo in uh, Texas, Horseshoe Bay, Texas, so it's outside of Austin. 
I can't wait. I'm going to be there on the 28th. So a lot of Instagram stuff happening that day, as well as videos uh, later in the uh, in the day. And I think Gavin and I are going to have a um, we're going to have a, a live stream. Uh, he'll he's not going to be there, uh, so I'll be there. He'll be back home, and, and we're going to kind of put together the day and talk about everything about it. So if you're interested in going to the Bronco Off Rodeo, it will be definitely a video for you. So hey, we're out. I am done for the day. Look forward to talking to you again. Please like and subscribe to Bronco Wild Outdoors. Remember, when we get our Bronco, that's when the outdoor adventure really starts. See ya.